Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Benita Gay Chamberlain. She went missing February 23rd, 1978 from Eugene, York, Oregon. She was only 24 years old, 5'5 five five and 120 pounds. It gives a description of her clothing and things. She had just given birth 10 days before and she was nursing at the time of her disappearance and she vanished. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Um, she was last seen between 10 and 11 a.m. February 23rd, 1978, leaving Sacred Heart General Hospital in the vicinity of 13th Avenue and Hilliard Street, Eugene, Oregon. She had given birth 10 days before. She was released from the hospital, but her baby girl was still in the hospital because she was premature and had a low birth weight. So she went to the hospital that day to nurse the baby. Um, she was told she could be able to take her that home that same day within a couple hours at 1.30 p.m. So she called a friend to tell the good news, and that was the last she was ever heard from. Um, her mother reported her missing at 1 a.m. the next day. At 2.30 a.m., her purse was found lying on the ground in a parking lot on the University of Oregon campus. And... At 5 a.m., they found her car. It was a 1966 Mercury Comet. It was in the parking lot of Coca-Cola Bottle Factory on Franklin Boulevard, which was near the hospital where she was went missing from. So they haven't found her. She was in the process of going through the divorce at the time. Her and her husband was separated. Her old, older two daughters did live with their father. She was working as a maid at the Holiday Inn. She had been working there for about five months, and then she went on maternity leaves. Her co-workers, they all said she was well-liked and she was reliable, and they didn't think. They said she would never just have left her, abandoned her children, and they don't know what happened to her. She graduated from high school and everything, they said. So they never could find her. They haven't found her remains, or if they have, they're not identified. And there was a Jane Doe, and to me, this Jane Doe really reminded me of her because they found this Jane Doe, you know, not that long after. It was six months later, right? And they found her in, in, in Oregon, Finley Creek Union County, Oregon, but they said she died 1970 to 1975. And to me, she kind of looked like her. She was about the right age. Um, she was, it looks like she might've been like an inch shorter or so. She had like the same color hair. She was pregnant and likely towards the end of her pregnancy, like six to eight months pregnancy. And to me, I just keep wondering if it was her because I don't know. They said their baby's remains were with her, so she was still pregnant. But I just, uh, I don't know. There's just something about it that makes me just, I don't know. So, but for some reason, they think that the, that she was still pregnant at the time and hadn't given birth yet. And that... They cremated her and the baby, the unborn child, and they called her Finley Creek Jane Doe. And I just kept thinking, you know, what if, what if she had given birth? What if there was some kind of miscommunication in the paperwork? But I don't know. You know, so here's this other girl went missing. Or was they found a dead body six months later, and they said she died 1970 to 1975, and she had been pregnant. Doesn't she look like she looks a lot like her, doesn't she? To me, look at her hair, and her nose, and her shape of her face. I swear it looks so much like her to me. Anyway. So then there was, um, there's other Jane Doe's. There was one in Florence County, Oregon, not County, Florence, Oregon, found 2013 female. Uh, they don't know her age. They don't know her weight. Uh, a hiker discovered a human mandible south of a river. I don't know how to pronounce it. So Slaw River in a sand dune near Florence, Oregon. So... I don't know. And then there was also Olympia, Washington, somebody 20 to 30 years old. They found in 1981, died anywhere between 1966 and 1979, even though it says estimated PMI two years. 
cranium and three fragment bones found it in a wooded area used as a dump with a crudely constructed cross with sticks fastened with a shoestring found in the general area and I'm wondering if it's not somebody that didn't die near Olympia Washington or in that area right there and not her and then Pierce Washington Pierce County Washington somebody 15 to 20 years old was found August 29th in 1978 it's not the same person is it August 29th, 1978. Now that's a year. It's like two days later in Washington. Late teen, young adult. Estimated PMI maybe a year. Five foot seven. They don't, they're not sure of the weight. Two fishermen found the skull of this young female adult for the search by law enforcement and search teams. Found additional bones and clothing. Longish brownish hair with blonde strands I don't know huh there's the clothes that she was wearing so sad and then there's this girl but that's 1984 right and that's a long time it's like six years later, she was murdered and stabbed to death. Can't see somebody keeping her for six years. But, I don't know. So, possibly blonde, Spokane, Washington. She had at least one child, and there's information on that. So she was new, dismembered, partial remains found on the south bank of the Spokane River. It's just really crazy. A single hand was recovered in 1984, but it wasn't her hand, the same hand as that person, so I don't know. So if you have any information, about what may have happened to her, please contact authority. It's been a lot of years. Maybe you gave them the information years ago. Maybe you were scared to come forward years ago. Gosh, it's too bad they didn't have the camera system. You think something, but it would have saw something. But if you have any information, please come forward and tell authorities what information that you have. Maybe you know something. Um, maybe you feel like it's insignificant. Maybe it's hearsay. Maybe you heard it through the grapevine. Maybe somebody was drinking and talking and shared the information with you. And so you feel like, oh, I shouldn't come forward and tell them because I don't even know if it's true. But any information that you have, you should give authorities and let them know, you know, that you heard it through the grapevine. Even if you don't want to tell them where you heard it from, just give them any information you can to help them solve the case. Because that is so horrific. And don't forget to pray for her loved ones and her family. Please feel free to leave comments. And thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye-bye.